Well, good morning. It's your coach, Joe Lucas. Happy Wednesday. Happy August 16th. Hope you're doing well. Hope, you're, hope your week started off really well. So, you know, I was going to start off this video by saying, hey, happy hump day. And then, and then I caught myself and I said, well, wait a second here. You know, hump, we don't, what are we, 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 are we humping like logs on our backs in, in 110 degree heat in Arizona? Are we, uh, are we humping shingles in the hot Dallas sun in August? Are we, are we humping, you know, uh, gravel in Florida in, you know, 95 degree, 95, 95, you know, where you're just wet when you walk out? We don't have anything in our business. No, but reality is, hey, we got a great, and I want to remind everybody that. So, happy Wednesday. That's not our topic, by the way. Here's our topic today. Consistency and, more importantly, inconsistency. So, let me ask you a question. So, you know, one of my things I do, like what our daily game plan process uh, that we have, it, and it's in Practice Power Academy, is I've always liked the idea of rank. I, I, in subjective, I get that. But I really like the idea of ranking you know, our days on either one to five scale for those who need a little more precision, one to ten, totally fine. And you know, a five being, hey, I, I did my morning ritual, I did my daily game plan, I made my contacts, I got refer I asked for referrals and introductions, I had meetings, I was focused, I didn't get sideways with uh, CNBC, the internet, and I really was on task and I got some good outcomes. Like, dude, if every day could be like this, you know, I'd be a, a billion dollar producer, right? One of those days, a five, right? And then there's the ones, right? Which is, you know, you kind of roll out of bed. Maybe you had, maybe you had a little too much fun the night before, and you know, your goal that morning is to get through the day, right? Not to go drive it, not to go make things happen, but to get through the day. Like you've got some job or something, you're gonna go hang out in your office, and like you might as well have just stayed in bed and gone to a movie because that's how productive you are. That's a one, right? And anything in between. Here's why awareness is so important on this. So let's just say, you know, it's Monday morning and Sunday night you had this conversation with yourself and you said, you know what, I'm, a, you know, I'm, I'm tired of being average, I'm tired of, I'm tired of being just good enough, not excellent, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to crush it. So you get all excited, you get up early Monday, you actually do your morning ritual, maybe even exercise a little bit, you get in the office and you say, here's what, and you really get the pad out, here's what I'm going to do today, right? So, I mean, like basic bare bones, you know, here it is on a piece of paper. And you get it done, you say, you know what, it's a pretty good day, it's like a four or five, it's a pretty cool Monday, right? And then Tuesday comes, and now you're a little less excited, right? You, 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 so part of our brain sometimes goes, hey, man, we had a good day yesterday. We got this thing figured out, so now we can kind of dial it back, right? And so you don't hit it as hard, right? And so Tuesday is like a four, right? Then Wednesday, a little less, and then it's a three. And then, then Thursday is a two, and then Friday, like, don't even come in on Fridays, right? It's like a one. If you average all that out, it's like a two and a half, three. And I'm not doing my calculator right now, so let's just you math people will figure it out for me. So it's average. You had an average week. You, have, you had an excellent start to the week, but at the end, when you look at it all, it's average. People will sometimes have great Januaries, and then they kind of think they got it figured out, and then guess what they have? Average years. Oh, we grew up plus or minus 5, 10%. And they accept that, or they go backwards. They, even worse, they tread water, right? Consistency is the key. And I would say this to, you know, if you're watching this, first off, you know, you're not looking to be average. You're not looking to be good enough. You're looking to be great. You're looking to be excellent. So let me say this to you because this is very important. This is, this is the way I talk to myself. If being average equals X amount of dollars in, in your, and you can, you know, again, you put your own math on this thing, right? This is the way I talk to myself. Man, if I'm good enough as this, well, what is excellent? And there's a number there, right? And then here's what I did. I took that number. And I went back and I said, if I had that number over the last 10 years, every year, and I magically just drunk, dropped it in my checking account, or wherever you want to drop it, right? Just walk, work with me on this. How would my world be different? And I literally almost puked because it got me sick. And sometimes, you know, we like to think, oh, let's be inspired and let's go, you know, let's go get motivated. Hey, sometimes you got to look at the, the other side and say, man... That's painful. I don't want to do. I don't want to have that concept again, right? And it just and it just takes you to another level of awareness on what we need to do. So being consistent. I don't. You know. I know we like to sit there and say, "Hey, you know, our goal always is to have a level five day or a level ten day." If you're going to the one ten ten thing, now, you know, you and I both know it's not realistic. We like conceptually, we like it, but it's not realistic in real life, right? But here's what I do. So let's just say you're using a 10-point must system, right? So 10 is a great day, 
seven's passing, five, eh, anything below that, why bother coming in, right? If you can set a standard for yourself that says, hey, I will never be below a seven and a half or an eight. I will do whatever it takes to make sure I have an eight day, level eight day. The tens will happen. I'll never go, I'll, I'll commit, I'll will myself to never go below eight. Or if you're doing the one to five thing, like three, 3.5, right? I'm never going to go below that. I don't care. If I'm ill, I won't come in. I won't, you know, I'll just, I'll just you know what, I'll, I'll take the day off, I'll recover. I'm never going to come in my office to less than, less than passing. That level of consistency is actually more important to you in your success than having a couple level five days, a couple of two days, and then why we bother the rest. It's about minimums, minimum daily excellence, minimum daily requirements. What's the minimum I need to do? And for those of you who work with me and you've heard me say this, I don't, don't you know, and, and, and you know this, you say, hey, how many referrals, how many introduction conversations would you think we can do? Oh man, I'll do five or six or seven a day. How many do you do now? None. Dude, let's do one, right? And it's really about establishing those minimum requirements that come hell or high water, you go get over. That's the difference. That's what, that's what consistency is here, right? You, you commit yourself to doing that. Well, that is what is necessary. So think about that on this Wednesday, right? Mid part of the week here, right? And figure out how consistent am I? My, you know, and be honest. You know, here's the one thing I would say real quick. Don't lie to yourself. In this industry, man, we have, a, and I say this with utmost respect, we have a bunch of liars. And it doesn't mean that you lie to your clients or you lie to your firm. It's just you're lying to yourself. There's a perfect venue for it, right? Stop it. Get real. See things as they are. Commit to fixing them. Have a great day.